Hi, I'm Dennis Blosser, CEO of Marietta Silos and USA Silos Service. We're here today to answer some of your frequently asked questions regarding silo construction, inspection, repair, and silo cleaning. The first type of flow I'd like to talk to you about is a conventional funnel flow silo. Now this is a cone bottom silo. It's typically used for granular materials such as sand, gravel, limestone, aggregates, clays, um, material that doesn't have too many flow problems associated with it. That cone is usually a 45 to 60 degree angle from the flat plane of the grade of the silo. And when material is put into these funnel flow silos, it goes into the storage bin. And then when it is withdrawn, you actually have a flow channel much like an hourglass. And if you look at this example here, we're going to cover this a couple times. We have a mass flow silo and a funnel flow silo on the bottom. So when I flip a funnel flow silo over, if you look, the material runs down through a center hole or flow channel in the material. And then the stagnant material that is left on the side falls in on top of that hole. Works very well when everything is symmetric. However, occasionally some things become asymmetric. It could be differential loading. In other words, when you load the silo, material goes into one side versus the other. It could be a discharge that is not concentric in the middle of the uh, middle of the opening of the silo. Maybe there's more than one discharges on the silo and you have multiple. You could have a twin bifurcated bottom or you could have like a coal silo that has seven different openings in the bottom. When you pull that material out and it's not in that nice center discharge uh, flow channel, it starts to become asymmetric and that material can actually lean over and that discharge hole go to the side of the silo. Where that flow channel gets a little crooked and leans against the side of the silo, it puts a tremendous bending flex on the silo wall. Basically, that flow channel will literally suck in the wall. But adjacent to that flow channel, you'll typically have higher pressures that push out on the wall. And then even further away, you'll have normal pressures on the silo wall. So when you have asymmetric flow in a funnel flow silo, you can actually get a sine wave of pressures on the wall, which can lend to bending or flexing. Now, a silo can be designed to handle that in a concrete type construction. And it's something you just need to be cognizant of if you're going to use a funnel flow silo. Thank you for watching our video series. If you have any questions about a silo, just give us a call. We like talking about silos as much as we like working on them.